Hi, let's have a look at how we can very quickly and easily add observability using tons of observability to Spring Boot application. And we're going to do that without changing any code. Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to add a few dependencies. So this is the Maven project. And all I'm going to do is I am going to add these few lines here. The first one just adds a dependency to the uh, observability starter, tons of observability starter. That has a bunch of order configuration in it, so it just sets it up. And it's even nice enough that if you don't have a way from the count, it sets one up for you free. The other one here is we're actually going to add tracing. And all we got to do is we have to include our favorite tracing library. Right now, we support open tracing and sleuth. In this case, we're just going to use open tracing. And that's it. I'm just adding those two dependencies and everything is taken care of. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to build and run this application. So let's do that. Obviously, I sped this up a little bit, but what you can see here is that it automatically provisions uh, Tanzu Observability account for me here because I didn't have one set up. So now I got this free uh, Tanzu Observability account uh, that I can use for this trial. And there it is. Now I could just take this URL and copy and paste it to my browser. Let's do that. And that takes us straight to Wavefront. And it gets us to a nice summary of our application. Obviously, I've had this application running for a little while. So when you do this, you're not going to have this much data, but you get the idea. So here's a summary of my application. I can see the number of requests. I can see exactly which requests are coming in and how long they take. I can even get a breakdown as a histogram of how long these requests take and uh, what the frequency is of each uh, duration. I can see key metrics about my JVM, my garbage collection, my heat, heap size, those kinds of things. But I can do much more than that. I can go in and I can start browsing metrics here. And as you can see, just from that little configuration, it pulls out all these wonderful metrics here. By the way, this is done through Micrometer. And as you can see, I can get information about my JVM, my memory, max used, I guess, uh, all that good stuff, right? Um, can get it broken down per uh, type of memory, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, I can even get information about individual HTTP calls. So what if I go in here and H to HTTP requests, and I guess I could look at the maximum time it takes, and there we go, right? This is the maximum time it takes for all these various uh, requests. And that's wonderful, but what if I wanted to go into traces? Well, I can go to my application status here, as we saw before. I can click on this particular application and I can look at the dashboard here. And the dashboard is going to show me the various requests, how long they take, how likely they are to get errors, the histogram of the breakdown of duration. And I can even click here and I can go in and look at each individual transaction. And I can see that this particular one in its update form, it does a lot of queries. I can even click on one of these queries and I can see exactly what the query was, how long it took, how much that contributed to the duration of the transaction itself, all that good stuff. So this I could do just by configuring that simple little dependency. No code changes, nothing. So this is pretty cool, but let's have a look at some more things we can do. Let's take this to the next level. So in this case, I have a slightly bigger application that's made up of several microservices. Let's have a look at this one. In fact, I have two applications, but let's look at this one. Okay, uh, I am going to look at the shopping microservice. So these are all the microservices in my application. I'm gonna look at this particular one. And I see I have these spikes here. That's interesting, I can zoom in on those. And I could see the breakdown and let me see what the slowest one is. This one takes about four seconds, 4.7 seconds. That's quite a bit. And now I can see how this breaks down. I can look at it and I can see that where it spends time. It spends time in something called async fetch. And as you can see, it also breaks down what the application itself looks like, what the microservices are, what calls what. And I get the full breakdown of where my application spends the most time. It looks like it spends time in the warehouse module of this application. So this is what you can do through a simple 
dependency that you add to your Maven project. And then Spring Boot the Auto Configure takes care of everything. It sets up tens of observability for you. And it even, if you want to, provisions an account for you. So this is there for you to test. And I strongly encourage you to play around with this and see what you think. Thanks for watching.